in Spokane, Washington, here to take on the Triple XL King Burger Challenge. I'm just waiting on my food to arrive. The moment that the food hits my table, my timer actually starts. I'm gonna start my own timer on my phone once I get some establishing shots. I'm setting myself a goal of less than 10 minutes. I have 30 to eat a pound and a half of cheeseburger. Actually, it's just a regular burger. It doesn't come with cheese on it. So it's just a burger. First challenge, ready to tackle this. All right, and the burger is here. Thank you so much. That'll do it. Thank you so much. This looks amazing. Get my timer started so that you guys can see. Goal is less than 10 minutes. This is my first food challenge. I'll have this set up. Hopefully it shows up in the camera. There's a lot of reflection going on. And here we go. Mm. That was my first burger since contest prep. Extra ketchup. seconds but that one was almost a little too easy this was uh, baby steps like I said first competition um, formally um, good old-fashioned diet coke like I said that was pretty easy I was really confident going into this one before I leave here I do want to give a shout out to Fat Burger for allowing me to film in here and a shout out to foodchallenges.com for giving me the idea I wouldn't have known this challenge even existed as like baby steps it's probably got food all over my face I didn't realize it all time. It's good stuff. First edit. It's gonna be a good time I'm doing a what are those with that ketchup. Alright guys, this was awesome. Stay tuned for more stuff. Alright all, thank you. Okay guys, I just wanted to reclose out this video. I just finished up the Triple XL Fat Burger Challenge and I am about to train legs and do some light cardio. Again, that was a little bit too easy, but it was a really good confidence builder for my first time. I'm happy that I started with that. It was cheap, it was a friendly environment, it wasn't crowded. I learned a lot about having to plan for the lighting, and that place was like a fishbowl. The lighting was crazy. I don't know if you noticed how flush my cheeks were in there. Um, it was hot in that corner, and it's spring right now in Spokane, Washington. It's not exactly a roaster outside. And so I did want to show you guys the certificate that I got. They were really nice. We got to sign this. 
There's no real picture on the wall at this location, unfortunately, which is fine. I looked like a hot mess after the challenge. Um, you guys can probably see I still have like ketchup smudges that I need to go wash off when I get into the bathroom here. So the lady inside, I did want to mention, did say that the store record was six patties. So if you guys want to see me come back and try this challenge again, I will try it again with six patties and try to break the record. So I guess that would mean I would be doing seven patties if I want to break the record and not match it. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Again, I like to reiterate it because, you know, it's a small world. Please do not forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.